back. Oh my gosh, stop calling. Hey, why don't you mute your phone? Look at you. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, on the line right now, this is like our virtual meet and greet with my man Trey Songs. It's the official back home meet and greet. Yes, Trey, man. how you doing, brother? Man, I wish I, I wish we could do this in person, man. You know, it, 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 I feel crazy. It's the crib back home and we on the Zoom, like the pandemic got us all out of sorts. But as for me, I'm a, I'm a week and a half, almost two weeks in the quarantine. I feel great. Uh, I've been taking all my liquids and all these natural herbs. And my auntie is like a super nurse. She sent like so many care packages. So I'm in good spirits and I feel good. All right, so I, I'm gonna be nosy, man. I where, where, where did you, where did you, re, when did you realize that you were sick? What that you had, um, that you were, um, COVID, um, positive? I realized I was positive when I took the test, and the doctor told me that I was positive. <laughs> but other than that, uh, <laughs> you, you, I wasn't, feeling, I wasn't feeling like myself, man. Uh, and you know, I got, a, I got a pretty strong immune system. I work out a lot, play a lot of basketball, and I was, I was finding myself short of breath, and. Uh, and my little brother was blowing some gas. I couldn't smell the gas, man. I said, I'm gonna keep it funky with you. I, I, I was like, it's... so where you get that from, Richmond? Ah, <laughs> 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 hey, you a wild boy? <laughs> hey, stop, man. <laughs> so, um, I right, so hey, look. If you know, you know, it's some gas in the town now. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Let's 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 not do that. Let's not do that. Um. <laughs> All right, so you go to the doctor. The doctor says, hey, man, you positive. Um, you yeah, quarantine yourself. Is the family good? I ain't even leave the house, man. As soon as I found out, I've been in the house since then. I, first time I got in my car or left the house was like three days ago. I wanted to hit an album in the car because mm -hmm. like, I feel like riding and listening to the music is the, the best way to really take it in. And um, I've been in the house. I called and they had a, a doctor that put delivered the service actually will come here and give me the test and uh uh the doctor called me back because it wasn't the, the immediate test it was the next day joint he called me and he said uh he said uh you tested positive i said man i, I couldn't smell so i kind of knew that but he was he was shocked for me he was like he's like okay 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 so uh you know what you gotta do you gotta quarantine and this that and i was like yeah 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 i know Okay. And uh, it, it's actually, it, it hasn't been that bad, man, like as I thought it would be. Like I haven't had too much cabin fever. And, and actually with a schedule so busy and doing Zooms and things of that nature, it actually feels like I'm not like missing out on that. Okay, all right. So as long as you are healthy, long as you know, you you know, I was like, I don't know how dude's gonna be when he gets on the Zoom. You know, I, I was hoping you weren't like, yes. <laughs> No, I ain't gonna draw it out. Even if I'm like that, when like, you ain't gonna never see me like that. Even if I am like that, even if I hang up right here and I gotta go lay down, and you ain't gonna okay. see me. Like that. All right, so let's get to the album, man. On on Friday, we had the opportunity to play some joints off the album. Um, I was when I first heard it, I wasn't expecting it to be a straight R and B album, which this is. Mm -hmm. It's like mm -hmm. um, you know I. You know, I mixed two, so I'm scrolling through the album. I'm like, okay, where's the joint we gonna mix? You know what? This is not gonna play in the club until the end. You know how you used to do the slow jams at the end? That's what you have on there. You got slow jams on here, bro. Yeah, man, couple skates, things of that nature. Yeah, yeah couple all, like, skates. <laughs> yeah, couples only. So, yeah, man, I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, make sure that the R&B met. And it is like some some tempo on there, some mid tempos that uh, come later on in the album. But I wanted to make sure from the, the moment it started, like even if you listen to the beginning of the album, like it sounds like a needle being put on a record. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And throughout the whole Be My Guest, it's, it's, it's that vinyl crackling throughout the whole song. And a few songs actually have that. But I wanted to come full force from the beginning with R&B bass lines, melodies, real singing. And you know, when I come up, be my guest. That's like signature Trey songs belting. I don't wanna leave. I better know no money. Making love, baby. You know, so like, 
the belting is there that, and when people say it sounds like old Trey, they don't even know that that's what they talking about. It's right. just the tone in which I'm singing and, you know what I mean? The songbook, baby, you know what I mean? Things like that are very much like nostalgic to the ear. All right, so, so you dusted off your gimmicks on the ass and they didn't even realize it. <laughs> that's what it was. Light work, baby. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, going through the album, man, um, you 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 work with um you work with um Troy on the joint. Mm-hmm. Um and Troy's been on every album, but this this album we we haven't worked this closely together song for song since not even it's not even been an album that I would say. Like you could say anticipation, uh, but this is this is like demo Trey and Troy, like uninterrupted, no A and R's, besides my brother Moo, of course. Uh, like not, very little label involvement. Uh, just he and I and Moo just making most all the decisions. Of course, Noah is a writer on every song. So that's my boy, you know, he young, early wordsmith genius. Getting points. Yeah, come on, points. Royalty, <laughs> <laughs> my boy go eat, you feel me? <laughs> all right, so, so just, um, these were a lot of the songs that you were actually playing on that Zoom on the um on the IG live one night. You were on uh, I won't say you were on that thing for like two or three hours, and you were like, "What y'all think about this?" Which y'all a lot of these songs were those songs. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, you know, uh, I did that live thing for probably probably about five or six times, and I would pay close attention to what the fans liked the most. That's uh, why Circles was a single. That's why uh two ways was the first unlocked track if you pre-ordered the album mm -hmm. uh just a lot of listening to those that i know actually love my music those that know me well those that uh what i realize as an artist is that you don't even know the experiences that you go through with your fans like they know every moment you spent together they know uh the times that they've cried listening to you the times that they've been overjoyed and you've been playing in the backgrounds and I took that into account a lot with this album just thinking that we in a pandemic and if you know your fans need your music when life is regular just imagine the necessity and the the, the healing that it can do uh you know when the whole world is on pause and things are like we've never seen them before so I wanted to deliver an album that was good for your soul like not for chart positioning or hit records or feature driven, just, I feel like there's a lot of fast food out there as far as music is concerned and I wanted to deliver a full meal. Okay, so I, I see a couple of people chomping at the bit, either that or it's just getting real moist where they are. Um, anybody have any questions, just, Crazy. just put your hands up and I'll get to you. All right, uh, Crystal, go ahead and unmute your phone and ask your question. Um, the album Trey, what was your favorite song? Like, if you could pick one song off the album, what would you say would be your favorite song? If I had to pick one song, it would be I Know a Love. And that's a song that's uh, especially dedicated to my son, but I wanted to write it in such a way that, whereas though anybody that's experienced that feeling can relate to it, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And it's just speaking to how I've never known love the way I know it now. Uh, just yeah. looking at my boy like that, that put a battery in my back to go fight the biggest, the biggest battles I got to fight that, that, that unforgiving, that undeniable just love is just, that song to me is everything. Like, and if y'all haven't seen the videos, I, I share like a lot of very like special moments between him and I. And that was, that was one of the most hard, that, that was one of the most hard decisions I've ever had to make, like how, vulnerable I would be with the world seeing me as a father and seeing my son just being that I've seen everything the world has to offer the positivity it can give you and the negativity and and just wanting to protect him but at the same time uh being a, a father and being a black man I think it's important that the world sees you know me being a father especially having seen my walk through life and seeing everything from my triumphs to, you know, my downfalls and uh, just showing black men, young black men, older black men and black boys and black girls that, you know, they are fathers out here. And especially for uh, men 
that are fans of mine and that are going through this at the same time I'm going through it. Cause a lot of my fans, I feel like, like even looking in here, like a lot of, we grew up together. Like, you know, some of y'all younger than me, we all like grew up together. And I think that my real fans, the most important things to them is my well being and seeing how I am with my family. And, you know, I think that's important for people to see when you are somebody that people follow and look up to. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you an idea, something you can do for your son. And, and the rest of y'all can use it too. All right. Start an email account for him. Mm -hmm. Drop him a letter or a note every day or two. Put pictures in it. Don't let right. him know about the email until he's older. Right. And then gift it to him when he's older. So he can okay. see what you were thinking and what you were doing as he was growing up. That's a great idea. I got my mother actually got me, my mother and my aunt actually a year apart from one another. They got me the same gift. And it's a book where I could write to them. That's dope. And uh, I've written it a few times. And, you know, every time I, I write it, it's, it's like I get emotional. Like, I'm such a, I, I'm a big baby when it comes to this boy. I swear to God. So, uh, you, but, that's, that's, but that's a great, but that's a great idea, man. Definitely. You can't be hard all the time, bro. No, that, I ain't hard none of the time, bro. Wait, 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 wait. I'm glad you said that. Because I want to share this with everybody in the room that didn't know. Trey used to fight in the club like every week, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm lying. Tell him I'm lying then. I ain't gonna say that. Hey, right. we be in the club and you hit chairs and stuff, and we look in the back. Yeah, it's Trey, man. Trey, you can't fight in the club, bro. You you have an album coming out in a couple months. I you know, it's, di it's different when you're at the crib, man. It's different <laughs> when you're at the crib and you're really from the crib, and you know what I mean. Like I had. To I had to do a lot of maturing and then a lot of understanding of uh, what celebrity means. Right. You know what I mean? And uh, differentiate Trey from Trey songs in a lot of instances. And, you know, I'm from Petersburg, man. <laughs> Anybody else have a question? Hands, hands. Uh, Keaton. I you still said you still I, said it wrong. <laughs> oh, you go ahead, correct me. I'm 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 human. You said, her name it's Kia. You said that John three it's, different times since I've been Kia Tay. It's, it's it's Kieta. Go ahead, ask a question, Dolly. Um, did you actually record your album like here at home, or did you record it in Atlanta? I actually recorded album right here where you see me. Most of it, I did do some recording at Land Studio. I did do some recording at. Yellow House, a lot of a lot of the recordings I did at the crib, as far as like at home, really uh, was idea based. Cause most of the time when I'm at home, I'm I'm family time. All right. Of, you know what I mean? Like, and if you see me out at the studio, you see me at the club. It's cause my brother DJing. You know what I'm saying? I'm pulling up on wall. I'm pulling up on wall at the studio, or you know. But outside of that, I'm at my grandma house. I'm checking on my little cousin. Um, I'm really like I'm really like on family time if I'm at home. And right, because I went to school with your brother. Yeah. So you are, are you crying? Are you, are you crying? I am. I am. <laughs> no, fam, a lot of people don't really understand that when I'm when I'm back home, like I ain't really trade songs like most of the time. It's just, like people see me as that and, and like I but I be I be through the town just by myself, like it's always it's always crazy to to me like no matter how often i'm i'm at home it's just just looking around and seeing that i became who i am right because of where i'm from like like I, you can see in my face now like i'm just like i really i really get blown away by everything sometimes it's all it's often it's so real but it's often surreal right thank you kieta you yeah, are right Ah, yeah, yeah, anybody else have a quick question? <laughs> Her nickname now, Kia Tay forever. It sounds like a. <laughs> like Hold a on, I'm looking to see if anybody's waving their hand. Um, oh, Isaac, go ahead, brother. All right, so um, I feel like as like as an artist, and how you were saying just to back up, going from like uh, differentiating from Trey to Trey songs, do you feel like you're always focused on like the next step? Or do you feel like sometimes you just sit back and just let everything happen and just let it play out because you don't want to think about it too much, you know? I feel like 
I feel like this lad, the last album cycle between Tremaine and now is the most I've actually just sat back and been okay with just whatever happens. Uh, Mike, no, I'm, I'm always in the studio. I'm always making music. He and he and my brother real close. So he always know what's in the plans. And it's always a plan. Mm -hmm. Always a plan, even if we just live in life and you know that you, you stray away from the plan and you call audibles within it. But I think just as a businessman, there's always a plan. But deviating from that plan is not like, uh, does not mean the plan failed or switching the plan doesn't mean the plan failed or taking a break from the plan because, hey man, I gotta sit back and make sure that I'm right up here or in here. You know what I mean? And that goes for any walk of life, especially when you share yourself, your personal self with people, you give so much of yourself, you can spread yourself thin. Uh, so in, in your plans for success in your life, in your business, in school, in whatever it is that you have desires for, for yourself, uh, make sure that you, the real you, the inside, the soul of you is also intact. Because if you, if you, if you're not making sure your self love is there, making sure that you sure of what it is you're doing, you just moving like a robot and we not robots as humans. We not mechanical. We need to, we need to stop, check on our well being and push forward. You know what I mean? But always have a plan. And if you don't have one, that's okay too. Anybody else with a question? Oh, I'm scrolling through. Um, oh, Lancia. Lancia, yeah. She, she her, wave <laughs> a, her wave got a little OD that last time. She's like, you ain't seen me. <laughs> I'm over here. Go ahead, darling. Okay, so the people in my house are tired of hearing this 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 album already, right? And I, I'm not going to say how, but I've heard some extra stuff, right? So I want to know, is there possibly going to be a deluxe album? Uh, first of all, let me address uh, people being tired of music after three days of it being. No, released. they they tired of your music. No, let me address <laughs> that as an entirety though. Uh, I feel like this generation of uh, of music listeners. I saw a post, and I, I'll reference this every time that I think about this because I saw a post with Big Sean's album, NBA YoungBoy's album. Uh, I believe it was a. Uh, Travis's album. All these albums came out within the last, what, three weeks, a month? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the question on the post was, which of these albums are you still listening to? I got a problem with people's attention spans being that short. I got a problem with people asking me for a deluxe three days after the album came out. <laughs> like, uh, that's, just, that's weird. I didn't mean it like that. No, I'm not, I don't have a problem with you. Stuff. I'm saying that the <laughs> overall consensus of okay. music listeners is like, so check this out. I said I got an album with 22 songs. 22 songs? Why would you put 22 songs on the album? That's so many songs. 22 songs on the album. Will you have a deluxe? You know what I mean? So like my, like, so me as an artist and a creative, I take things like that with a grain of salt. I, I, I have enough music to make, to put out three FOMO albums this year if I want to. Mm -hmm. But will it be appreciated? Will people take the time to listen to it? Do I give you 10 more songs on an album that you tired of listening to and hearing after three days? I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to separate it so you can actually appreciate it as another body of work versus just taking it for granted that I gave you extra yeah. songs laying around. So I don't know. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not even going to ask you how you got extra songs either. We'll talk. All right, who else has a question? Am I missing somebody? Bree. Oh, oh yeah, um, Brittany, go ahead. I gotta I got unmute. So what was the thought process behind like choosing the tracks for this album? Like what was, like what were you uh, Cause I love the transitions and everything. Everything just flows right through to the end. I was just wondering like, was there a certain thought behind it or I mean it was a lot of it was a lot of recalls on mixes it was a lot of recalls on masters it was a lot of going back in uh like everything didn't sound like this the first master I got like 
we took some drums out. We kept some vocal samples in. Like, this song is the same key as this. Let's move this song because it sounds better after this one. The thought process was uh, just making the best music we could. And after we had what we felt were the best songs that actually felt like a family, like mm -hmm. each song feels like a piece of another song or feel like they related. Uh, it was just about sequencing the album in a way where as though it felt how what I what I felt when I say back home because back mm -hmm. home meant musically to me in a lot of ways uh so like be my guest going in to save it uh like you hear you hear the like the um the, the kick comes out and the vocal sample stays in and then the drum comes in right on the beat you mm -hmm. know what I mean like that that was always important. Like if you think about Tremaine the album, the way the prelude like becomes come over, like that's always been something that's important to me in the album process because uh I never look I never view myself as like a single by single artist, even though I have had some singles that uh have charted higher than others and you know, some records that are like, okay, that's for that purpose. Mm -hmm. I didn't focus on that on this album at all. Okay, thank you. Good question. Yeah. She, she, all right, so check it out, man. So nobody, nobody asked you this, but the verses. I was talking to Big Nat the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it was like two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And somebody was like, yo, it would be dope if Trey and Jeremiah did a verses. Now, I keep it funky. I'm just going by chart position. I said, well, you know, Trey could pull off 20 records easy. Jeremiah got like seven or eight of them things, man, including features. If you were able to do a versus, who do you think would be a good versus against Trey Songs? Well, first off, I wouldn't discredit Jeremiah what he did, what he's done for. Uh, oh, no, you didn't. You didn't. No, 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 no. But I, I'm, I'm speaking up for my dog because I, I got respect for what it is he do, and he's actually written and created a lot of records that people don't know about. Uh, I wouldn't do a versus with nobody because I ain't in competition with nobody but myself. Okay. I don't feel like there's nobody that do what I do to compete with. Not to say that I'm better than this person or that person, but what I do is what I do. Nobody else does Trey. There you go. Okay. Anybody else with a question? Hands waving. I can't tell. I want to talk to D Lee with the, with the Kodak, the Kodak genre. <laughs> my brother just came back from uh my brother just called me he facetimed me. he was in new york up uh and he went he just went up there to surprise me and take pictures with the billboard and call me and um that kodak kodak was the uh second billboard i ever had in times square and that that reminds me of that you take okay. pictures or you just fly look everybody just like Everybody's being like shy now. Y'all were talking your asses off at the beginning. We can't hear you, D. It, you, you on your phone? It's muffled. Like you got it sitting up on a pillow. Yeah. Like we can't hear you. No, D. It sounds like you're talking from around the street. <laughs> the you know, underwater. You know maybe, <laughs> maybe you need to go in your settings and access your mic. For the for the joint, maybe it, go to the chat because I don't think that's gonna help. I think something wrong. <laughs> it said that she's it said that she's unmuted. Yeah. Type your question in the chat, and we we'll, we'll keep it going. <laughs> we'll get to that, and she gonna keep talking even though we can't hear. Go ahead, girl, talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something y'all might not know about Trey. Um. Some of you might know, but when it comes to recording in studio, Trey, Trey is a different type of artist. A lot of people go in the booth, record their vocals, um, do their ad libs, do their layers, and they're out. Trey don't like nobody touching his vocals, man. Trey will go in and do his main vocals, or he'll do his harmonies, he'll do his overlays, he'll do his ad libs, and mix them down himself. I see the mic right here. This this is how the whole album was made, like this. Like literally, he don't he. Have you right. ever let anybody do your vocals? 
like like mix your vocals for you? Uh, when it comes when it comes time for the professional mix and actual mix and master, I go to the same people, uh, John Marie or uh, Jason Joshua, and John Marie and Jason Joshua mixed heavily on this album. But like, uh, I do all that, bro. All that. Like this is me right here. This is how the album was made. In here, right here. Me and this mic right here. This you is got all the toys right in the crib, boy. Look at that, man. Oh, that's the booth right there with its storage space. <laughs> Soundproof door, though. That's all that matters. Yeah, but I don't ever go in there. It's a closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Who is that waving their hand? Oh, is that some, oh that's a baby. Oh. That's my daughter. Say hey, say hey, Kai. Say hey. Hey, Kai. <laughs> Wait, say hey. Oh, okay, look, uh, Krista, Krista, you have a um, question. Go ahead and ask. It's not a question. It's more like a statement. Trey, I've seen you in concert so many times. I see you in concert with like Jay Holiday. I was at the Bree Gale in Alberta. I was at the one when you had like with the vote for Obama. Like every time you come to Virginia, mm. I see you. But I've never heard you sing this song. Can you please just sing for me the chorus to Be girl I, I, I should say song. it's not a question, it's more of a statement. And then <laughs> it's a request. Through the town with me. Sing it with me now. Gotta be a queen with a crown with me. So she gotta be from the me. I need a B girl. I need a B girl. B girl. Oh my god. B girl. B girl. Oh, Thank you so much. That's my boy Moomy Daddy, 2C Caddy, man. Woo, 2C Caddy. <laughs> Come on now. We really had the crib with it. She said she went to the Rock the Vote joint. That, that, oh, yeah. I remember that one. I you still have I've been a fan of you since like I was 16 years old. Like I've been following you. Like my aunt, every time you come to like Rinky Ding Chip, like, oh, Trey here. Like I ride up and down Crater Road, bumping you, just that's trying cool. to see you when you're in Petersburg, but I never get to see you. That's the telltale time, the sign when you know I'm home. When, <laughs> when the call go out. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna hit that Rinky Ding, one thing for sure. <laughs> right, hold on, here's, here's the question. I can never from, catch you. Here's the question from D. Lee. He says, since, since y'all can't hear me, since your first album, I gotta make it to this album. Um, how do you feel you've grown musically? Uh, musically, I feel like uh, when God, by the time Gotta Make It came out, uh, like I said, once again, I'm gonna keep referencing this because it is is crazy to be giving interviews. Some first time I, I came up to the station, I was trying to get my music played when I was 16, 17. <laughs> You catch me at, up there, like yo, with my CD tape back then as well. I saw, I saw my demo at the prom out of a Jordan box <laughs> for five dollars. Um, and back then, I was just a kid who who was very rough around the edges, raw talent, uh, could hold a note. Uh, Troy told me everything I know. At that moment, he would have me listen to the greats, uh, Marvin Gaye, Prince, Michael, Luther, even alternative music like Steely Dan, Aerosmith. Like he would Dan, uh, Diane Warren, written songs. Uh, just I, I became a student of music, you know. And I was I was very much a, a rapper with a rapper mentality, even though I was a singer. Like throughout a lot of my career and uh, just, I look at myself now from the outside looking in and just just even listening to this album, a lot of people say I sound like the old Trey, but I never sounded this good. Okay. I, I never could sing this well. Uh, the range on the songs, the harmonies, like the penmanship and you know, I wrote my first song when I was 14. I'm 35. So, I so let me see if y'all can see this. Can y'all see this picture? Can see that? <laughs> I can see it. Can y'all see that? That was before Trey had a mustache, bruh. 
my, but my side, but my sideburn game was long and strong and thin and sharp. Come on now, <laughs> no, And when he said he used to come up to the station, bro, we still. I'm moving with the computer, y'all. Y'all had to excuse me. Tell me who this is over my shoulder right here. Yeah, man. It's your boy. <laughs> I was through them halls, man. I knew everybody, the interns. I was up and through that. And, and I'm going to tell you like this street has been a supporter since day one when I was nobody. He'd sit there and listen to all the songs I played. And he'll tell me which ones he like, which ones he don't. And it's just uh shout out Bashir, man. No, for sure, Triple B. Um, anybody else with a question? Because uh Trey gotta go um drink his sea moss in a second, man. Anybody? <laughs> Hold on, it's, oh Isaac, you got another one. Go ahead, brother. Yeah, just a quick question. Um, because I know you were saying like how you mix all your own stuff by yourself, you know, to get a different sound like as an artist myself like I, I you know I mix a lot of my own stuff but when I want different sounds I do go to different producers um like what do we do like who do we contact to work with somebody on your, your squad like your team you know who who do we contact for that what's, I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there what's your what's your uh what's your IG uh sip dot myself I just dropped the album like two weeks ago spell it for me S I P uh -huh. dot M A R C E L. I'm gonna tell you it was crazy. I was going through songs in the um in the uh, flow email. I think I ran across, I, love that. I ran across your record. I just sent you my jump. Yep. I just okay. I just dropped the album. Yep. Okay. I just Look dropped the album. Look at that. I'm gonna oh, put yeah. it out there. I, hit no, I ain't mad at you. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. That's right. if I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, I Let's appreciate it. Yeah. Is that and yeah, we're gonna talk in depth about that. Yeah, already. Yeah, is so, that my, my, my respect, my respect though. No, for Definitely. sure. My boy. So let me let me let me go ahead. That's a perfect, a perfect lead. Hold on, hold on Mike. I don't want to cut you off, but one of the twins that had their hand up. Oh, okay. I didn't see that. Go ahead, um, Orlando. Get the twin on. I love your songs, bro. Oh, you just made my whole day, baby. <laughs> Thank you. He was so scared to tell you that. Like, <laughs> Thank you. I don't know which ones your mama got you listening to, but make sure we got the earmuffs out. All of them. <laughs> That's how they were conceived. It's okay. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right now. So that's like <laughs> All right, but um, getting back to... um what Sip was saying about artists and local artists and stuff. Trey, you, you, you have a bunch of um, folks that, uh, that, that, that have approached you that are doing things, man, that, that, that we need to um, hear from, you know, that's around out, the way. Shout out to all my guys around the way, man. Fresh, of course. If y'all, y'all know Porterville, baby, my boy, Fresh Porter, uh, Dre, Young Bear, man, who else? Young Trey. Who else? You got me on the spot right now, but it's so much talent, man. Young Boz, the goat. Uh, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of talent at the crib, man. And like like for real, say it's something in the water because that Virginia talent is something different. You know what I mean? Because we don't have access to everything that they got in the big cities like New York, Miami, Atlanta, California. But somehow that talent shined through. So if if you a fan of music. Support the people that come from where you come from before they huge, before they superstars. Rock with your people that walk through life the same way you have and believe in them before the rest of the world does because that's that's what's happening down in Atlanta. That's what's going on. That's why they consistently putting out a superstar or a star or hit records each year because they believe in one another and they like one another to succeed. One thing about our culture is we see somebody and we instantly got to compare them to somebody else. So we got to see what's wrong with them, not what's right with them or why to uplift them. Or because they from where you from, they not good enough. And why is that the case? That should never be the case. Because they from where you from, that should be the case why they are good enough. That should be why they better than everywhere else. And 
even if they ain't all the way at their potential, let's uplift one another, man. We, we do enough of tearing each other down in the streets. We do enough of tearing each other down on the internet, everywhere. We turn each other down, people going through real shit. We make a joke about it and then they gone the next day and everybody crying. Like we gotta fix that within each other and support one another and lift each other up. So when you see me on my story and I'm posting a little cat from my hood is cause I'm proud that he trying to do something that ain't nobody else doing. Or he trying to do something that they tell him he can't do. They gonna tell you what you can't do cause they ain't did it. And that ain't got nothing to do with you. There you go. Everybody starts somewhere. And that ain't even just music. Like I don't wanna keep going on no big old speech but that ain't just music, that's in life. What you want to achieve, you can achieve it. And don't listen to somebody who ain't did it as far as what you can do. People want to tell you how to do what you do and ain't never done it they self. Like, nah, I'm doing it my way. If you, you can rock with that or you can't. But I'm going to keep pushing and I'm going to believe in myself. You look in that mirror every day and you tell yourself you're good enough. For real. And they a philosopher. Okay. Hey man, I'm, I'm many things, man. Y'all try to put me in a box, but ain't no, ain't no squares in my circle. You gonna put a, you gonna put a book out soon? Y'all better, ha y'all better have that um, that audio book money ready. <laughs> I put a book out. It ain't gonna be a tell all. It's gonna be tell a little bit. <laughs> tell something. You'll never know all my business. Hey. <laughs> all right, so um, I'm thinking that 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 should do it, man. We've taken up a lot of Trey's time. Uh, everybody good with the questions? We good, folks? Brittany, you still smiling, girl. Everybody good with the questions? D. Lee said, tell all. No, baby. Oh, that's, why your, that's why your mic don't work. Because you was going to ask for too much. I will shoot, man. I appreciate everybody stopping through. I appreciate the homie Trey. Um, if y'all, if y'all don't have the album, y'all are whack for even making it to the, to the zoom today, but I will hey, say, yo, this, Michelle faces, bro. <laughs> look, I, I will say this though. The album makes a great stocking stuffer and Christmas is only like two months away. You can go ahead and order that thing again now and, and, and send a, send like a digital coupon to your friends and family. Hey, yo. I appreciate that. This has been great, man. Uh, I will be home soon, man. I don't know what we're gonna figure out, uh, but I gotta you come home. That I, now, you should have said I, that now. Crystal gonna be waiting at the at the, at the, at the ringy spot. Ding. <laughs> hey, hey, look at the ringy thing. You wanna give me some? You wanna give me some chicken with the gravy, the turkey wings? You know what I mean, they might be out of a little something if you get there late. But if you wanna meet me up there <laughs> and make some straight, the mac is fire, the cabbage is fire. Depend on the day. Sundays and Mondays, they ain't open. The rinky ding, Mama J, Croker spot. You catch me through all that, all that. Looking at everybody, like, yeah. Okay. You gotta try Jackie's too. Jackie's is official too. What Jackie's that? Aunt Creighton and Laverna. Okay, okay. So cool. Be on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Look at y'all, man. Nah, I love y'all. But for real, I'm coming home soon. I'm not when I'm when I'm COVID free and I'm safe. I want to do some at the crib, I know things open and, and cracking. Yeah, so I want to do something at home. Of course, a back home celebration at home for the album is like necessary. I don't know how soon or how far away because this kind of threw my schedule all the way off, honestly. But I can't wait to come home and kick it with the real ones that know a nigga from jump. Go, and I'm out. And I ain't said this in a long time, but yeah. There we go. All right, Trey, take care of yourself, man. My dog. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, so there y'all go. We promised it. There it is. Folks got to ask their questions. And um, I appreciate y'all taking time. I appreciate y'all listening to the station. Um, Marcel, I'm going to check your project out. I do have it. And um, if we're able to- I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, if we're able to do something with it, I'm either way, I'm going to email you just to the courtesy to let you know that I do have it. Um, everybody else, thank you for joining in. We're going to be doing more of these. Uh, thank you to the kiddies. Thank you to the grown folks. And, uh, that's going to do it for us, man. Y'all take care of yourselves. All right. Thank you. Nah, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.